Okay, so with the drill we can come in and drill these holes like so. Then we'll come around to this side. Okay. My wife is talking to the dog as if the dog will respond to her. Good luck with that one. None of you guys do that, do you? Do you talk to your pets? Look at me. I'm sitting here talking to a camera like you're going to respond to me. Well, I guess you could leave a comment, so. All right. Two holes drilled. Now to put this back together, throw bolts on them. So I forgot to, um add the putting the blade onto part four video. So this is the final video. Uh, you can actually see after I got the dozer done, I actually took it to a show. It's kind of dirty right now. Uh, actually put it to work. So I want to kind of go over a final overview of everything we did to this, um, if you've been following along with the other videos. Um, so like I mentioned, what you saw in the earlier videos, we got a uh, switch right down in here to uh, turn it on and off. So when we turn it on, we have, um, the LEDs on the front on the uh, basically would be like the lift cylinders got a couple of LEDs on the cab and then got those uh, flashing LEDs inside those orange strobes so that you can see that in there uh, if you remember we may modified this this pops off pretty easy this door opens up and you can get the electronics pretty easy um, and get all that in there and um, it's a little hard to see I didn't actually get a video of it I did it without really doing it um, down in the bottom, I bought, picked up some weights from Harbor Freight, uh, just some simple lead weights. It might be a little difficult to see in there. You can see down there, just got some simple lead weights and stuck down inside there. Uh, if it's not heavy enough, uh, you can use like BBs or BBs in there and just drown it in hot glue. And so you kind of make this uh, BB slash hot glue mix uh, in there. Um, I've done that on a couple of the dozers when you want to make it heavier. The heavier this is, the better it will uh, push material. So let's just kind of go through an overview of running it. So this little door kind of goes back on fairly easily. This hood pops back back on and we'll turn the uh, fly sky on. And we got the uh, dozer, the blaze control up and down, left, right so you can tilt this blade uh, like I mentioned when you get the blade into a hard tilt it can bind up and overload the receivers uh, or the uh, ESC's and then our dose control so these metal servos worked out really well uh, plenty of control over it and they're rather quick so overall pretty happy with this uh, I have noticed the uh, Prices of these brooders are going up with all the inflation going on right now. Um, so you can't pick them up as for 60 bucks like you used to. Um, but overall, once you spend, you know, less than $100 or so on the dozer, and then about two to $300 on whatever electronics you got, uh, overall it's a fairly budget build. Uh, I don't use it a lot. It's more for pulling around on my low boy, uh, but I do like it. I've built two of these D11s now. I've done a couple of those little uh, D5s uh, and they're always fun and easy to do and overall I, I really like the look of this um, the way the lights the linear actuators uh, you really don't notice the linear actuators until you really look at it so from 10 feet back uh, don't even notice them there and again you could have gone to a, uh, a higher quality strobe but for literally having about five cents of materials in those um, you just can't beat that so don't really need any major special tools other than the 3D printed parts. Uh, like I said, these 3D printed sprockets, uh, the spacer blocks for the servos uh, was the only really 3D printed parts. Um, and overall, that's about it. 
Uh, you do notice, you can see the bottom part of the left rear actuator. I have made these uh, 3D printed kind of cylinder looking things in the past. I decided not to put them on. Uh, it doesn't really stand out that much, so I'm trying to keep it a little bit easier. But uh, hope you guys like this and comment if you want to see different ones in the future. I've got a number of different things I've been working on, so have a good one.